close your eyes and focus on your breath. Notice when it's coming in, notice when it's going out, and stay right here. As for any other thoughts that come into the mind right now, just let them go. You want to maintain that initial intention that you're going to get the mind to settle down. Because when the mind settles down, it can have a sense of ease, well-being, and strength. And it can see itself a lot more clearly. But if it's not settled, if it's moving around, it's like a fire that flickers here, flickers there. If you try to read by it, you can't read very well. You need a steady flame. So try to keep this steady as you can. This requires a quality that the Buddha calls persistence, wirdiya in Pali. It's translated as effort, translated as energy. It's what you put into the meditation. You realize that you can't just go by one or two nice little thoughts and hope that takes care of everything. If you want to develop good qualities in the mind, you have to stick with it. Because we live in this world where so much bad stuff is coming at us. But we do have one choice here inside, which is that we can send out good stuff in its place. In other words, you send out good energy with all your good thoughts. So you want to make sure that your thoughts are steadily good, not just good sometimes. Because after all, what do we get from the world? We get the results of our own past actions, together with our present actions. Our past actions we can't change. But we can change our present actions. So as long as you're putting something into the system, put something good in the system again and again and again. And after all, more good things are going to come back to you. A large part of persistence is not just forcing yourself to do things. If you force yourself to do, do things, the mind is going to rebel. So you have to learn how to convince yourself that it really is good to be here. In the beginning it takes a lot of conviction, but as the results start coming in, then you realize that the mind that's settled in really is a good place to be. And that makes it even easier to maintain the state of mind. So you're working on doing something really good. Make it steady. Make it good all the time. This is what your radio station is broadcasting to the world. So make sure it's broadcasting good things. We tend to think that nobody else knows what we're thinking about, so we can think whatever we want. Well, we can, but what good is it to? Because even thinking is a kind of karma. And it's what you send out into the world. And what do you want to have come back at you? Well, you want to have good things coming at you. So that means you have to send good things out. And if you'd like to have good things coming at you steadily, you have to be steady in sending out good things too. So that make up your mind. You're going to do something good. You're going to be generous. You're going to be virtuous. You're going to get the mind to settle down so you can see it clearly. Once you've made up your mind, keep your mind in that direction. Don't. It's like making a bed. Don't unmake it very quickly. Leave it unmade. Make up your mind and then just keep it made that way. That way the goodness you give to the world will be steady, and the goodness you get back to it will be more and more steady as well. <laughs>